Bye, baby. Love you. From the moment Cole Pariso steps on the bus to go to St. James Elementary, his mom is worried. And he's off. I'm just waiting for that one time he ends up in the hospital. And she's worried for a reason. I've gotten punched in the wrist before. I've gotten pinched all over the place. I have got this is my kick in the chest and punch it in the shoulder. And someone almost, someone takes my book bag. At just seven years old, Cole is being bullied on the bus. Confronted the school about it and talked to the principal about it. And uh, she said that she would review the bus tapes and that she would, uh, she would handle the situation. And that's all the information that I was given. And that was after the first occurrence. But that didn't stop the bullying. So I think after the fourth time, and I demanded that a monitor be put on the bus. Cole's bus now has a monitor who rides in the morning and the afternoon, but Cole says he's still being bullied. The bus driver just didn't even see it. The monitors didn't even see it. So why hasn't his mom removed him from the bus? Cole has high-functioning autism, and she believes riding the bus will help him with his socialization skills. But now Cole's mom has nowhere else to turn, and she's not the only parent in this situation. I saw my grandson get off the bus full of blood. Teresa Hassett's 10-year-old grandson, Isaiah, is facing the same type of abuse as Cole, heading to and from Lakewood Elementary. He got, with the, within five days, he got hurt twice, very badly. Isaiah was taken to the hospital for a testicular scan after Teresa said he was violently kicked. She immediately got on the phone to demand answers. I have made hours and hours with no exaggeration of phone calls. I have called everyone concerning this situation. I said, I want this resolved. I want something done. We also received emails from parents whose children attend to other schools in Horry County, and they have similar stories. This bully got out of their seat, hovered over my granddaughter, threatened her, called her names, used filthy language, and hit her with rubber bands. And in another account reads she was punched on her head several times. The bus driver sat in her seat and said nothing. We asked the district how many cases of bullying they had on the school bus in 2012. Of the 4,600 school bus violations, only six were coded as bullying. 39 students were removed from the buses for bus violations, but the district could not say how many of those students, if any, were removed for bullying. No student deserves to have to go to school and endure bullying. No student. Daryl Brown is the director of student affairs for Horry County Schools. He oversees everything from attendance to school safety. We addressed the four cases brought to our attention in the interview, but he couldn't speak to those specific incidents. Confidentiality. Um, you know, I, you just can't go into that. He did say it's not always easy for a bus driver to see what's going on when they're trying to watch the road. So they've got a really difficult job. So in case they miss it, um, then that's why we have the cameras and that's why it needs to be reported to the administration so they can view those cameras and uh, hopefully get to the bottom of it immediately. Cole's mom says she did that and went to the school to view the videotape. But Cole was in the back of the bus and it was tough to see what was going on. Brown says they're about to fix that problem with cameras that will be able to see more. What we're in the process of doing right now is upgrading those cameras. Still, the video is only reviewed if an incident is reported. So it's up to the parents to tell the school when something happens. Contact the administration at the school immediately, um, particularly um, if it's been a repetitive action. And while the parents I've spoken with say they've done that, Brown says he's not taking their concerns lightly. Now that just crawls all over me. Uh, I just know that I would be absolutely irate um, if they came home and told me that. Um, and so I can understand what parents of those that age child, um, if, what they're feeling. Uh, but like I said, follow that procedure and uh, we will get to the bottom of it.